Yuma, the door into the United States for migrants, like Eduardo, seeking asylum from Lima, Peru. In our country, with the problems that are happening, we don't have any guarantees from anybody. I saw in the comments on the news where the safest place to cross was, and I found Mexicali, and I decided to cross from there because it's calm and it's not too dangerous. Monday, Judge John Roberts paused the lift of Title 42, at least temporarily. Yuma's mayor saying it's been a back and forth with no clear answers. We've been talking about Title 42 for almost two years. I still don't see a plan that is robust. Yuma Sector Border Patrol says it does have a plan for how it will lower custody numbers, releasing migrants into our community. Right now, the Yuma Sector Station does have more people in custody than any of the other sectors, and that's going to require uh, releases onto the streets of Yuma. Both Mayor Nichols and County Supervisor Jonathan Lines say this hasn't happened since 2020. That's starting today to help relieve some of that pressure. We need more ICE capacity. We need uh, more transportation to NGOs and to other communities. That's not happening. It's not happening fast enough. And so unfortunately, that's the situation we're in. Supervisor Lines adds street releases will continue for the next several days. This comes with transportation issues as many migrants don't want to stay in Yuma. But I believe the numbers are going to be in that 40 to 50, maybe 60 range. Uh, and so there's going to be issues on trying to get that many people out of town every day. And so that's uh, a very, very big concern. Re reached out to the White House last night, haven't quite yet heard back. Um, this is an issue that we need to continue to work. Reporting at the Yuma border, Samantha Bird, News 11.